Okay, today is an exciting day. We are going to pick up the half hog that we ordered from a local farmer. Um, we worked with the processor probably about three weeks ago to fill out our cut sheet, but today is the day. If this is something you're interested in, please tag along with us. The reason why we are interested in buying meat in bulk is to support a local farmer and the local economy. In addition to that, we have a relationship with this farmer. They follow very conscientious farming practices, things that we're trying to incorporate into the food that we're eating. It is a great value when you buy in bulk, you tend to get a better value cost-wise. Um, and finally, we just like bacon because who doesn't? So let's go pick up our order on the farm and we will kind of do a little journey of how we got from putting our order in to picking up today. Today starts our journey towards ordering, buying pork in bulk. Um, we had ordered and put a deposit in for a half hog um, through a local farmer. Our first time ordering like this, I have spent hours researching cut sheets, what they mean. Still don't really have it figured out. So the hog went to the processor a few days ago and I have to call the processor now to kind of work through the cut sheet so it can be custom cuts to what we'll want and what we will eat. So I pulled up the cut sheet and um, I'm, I'm hoping we'll get some help and I know we will kind of walking through it, but you pretty much go by different area of the pig, shoulder, loin, ribs, bacon, ham, and then how you want your sausage prepared. So I'm going to take notes as I'm on the phone and report back to all of you kind of what we ordered. And then in a couple of weeks when it's ready, we'll take you along to kind of go pick it up. Um, we'll see kind of what we think about it, if we'll do it again, and if that's something that you might want to do uh, for your family. So stay tuned. Okay, we just got off the phone. The woman who helped me was phenomenal and super, super helpful. I'll tell you how long we were on the phone for. Six minutes and 27 seconds. We worked through the cut sheet. I'll put an image of what that looked like, um, but we kind of worked line by line through it. So let's go through here what we ordered. So the first section was um, shoulders. You could either get those in a roast or as steaks. I got those as roasts. She said they're typically eight to 10 pounds and they've been splitting them into six. So that'll be perfect for us, for pulled pork, for other dishes like that. We'll definitely use that up. That's definitely a favorite of our families. Um, if we're having guests in or doing picnic summertime thing, things, pulled pork is so easy and something we'll use a lot of. Um, the next is the loin. So we get one pork loin roast off the end um, and then it came to the pork chops and she asked me if I wanted boneless or bone in. Uh, so I said, you know, what are the pros and cons? And she said, if we get boneless, then we get baby back ribs and we love ribs. So we went with boneless um, pork chops. The standard is half an inch. So that's what I got. I think maybe some of the other ones we get sometimes are thicker, but half inch will be good. And if we want something different next time. We'll just learn that lesson. So we got a half inch and I got two per package since there's only two of us here and that is one meal's worth. And if I need to get out multiple packages, that'll be fine as well and we can do that. Um, so then we have the tenderloin, the baby back ribs. And then she said the spare ribs come out like a, a size of a sheet of paper. And she asked if I wanted them in half or quarters. I went with half on that. Bacon, I am getting that cured and smoked, so it tastes like the delicious bacon we're used to. I could choose from thin, regular, or thick sliced, and we went with regular sliced. The ham. She said this is a pretty big half, and that the ham would be 18 to 20 pounds. So, I originally thought maybe I'd only want that in two pieces, but we're getting that in four pieces. And if I want two, then we can put two together. But I'm pretty sure we got a quarter ham for Easter last year, so we'll have four pieces of ham. I did ask for the ham hock to be used for soups and broths. So I think that'll be a really fun canning project. For sausage, uh, she said we would get upwards of 15 pounds, maybe more based on the side of the hog. Um, and you could only pick one plate flavor. So I went for plain, so we could use that in savory dishes or for breakfast sausage. And I got that in one pound bags. We'll be getting that in bulk. Um, she asked if I had any other questions. I did ask about the jowls so we will be getting the jowl bacon and then the farmer that we're ordering from is handling all of the extras the ears the trotters 
the organs, and um, the lard. So we've we've done a lot of YouTubing, and I think we could really make use of all of that. So I already had an ask out to the farmer that if she could pair me, the other the person getting my other half, if she could pair me with someone who maybe didn't want that stuff or only wanted some of it, so we could have a good split there and at least get some of those products. Let me see what else in my notes I have here. Uh, she said anything that we didn't want would be turned into sausage, but I think I picked enough options here through all of them. Um, we are getting that vacuum sealed. I'm not really sure what the other options are, but the first thing she asked was, do you want that vacuum sealed right? And I just said yes. Seems like it would be good. Um, and she said it would be about a three week turnaround time. So this was planned before the pantry challenge. So this does not count as groceries, but we should be getting that by the end of January. This processor is located about an hour away from us, but it's really nice. The farmer handles the pickup and we'll just pick up at our local farm all of our cuts. So I think the next time we get back together, we will be picking up from the farm. So Thanks, I am so excited to see how this turns out. that we ordered. I also got the cut sheet. And then we have a box of some of the accoutrements. So first we have a pig heart. We have the option if we wanted any of the organs or not. We will use them. We have friends and family that like them. So um, here's the heart. We also have a liver, very large. And then in here are the trotters, which are the hooves and the ears. Um, Moose is interested. The goal with these is actually um, dog treats. So we will do that um, very soon. She also gave us the option if we wanted the head or not. We're still TBD on that. Moose. And then finally, we have all this fat. Um, really nice, they already ground it up for us, so it should be um, a lot easier to render, and we are going to get into so many different projects with this. Um, my brother actually is bringing us some as well, so we'll have a lot of this to work through, which is exciting, and I think my mindset is kind of the same as it is with what we have in the pantry. We're going to work with what we have. All right, box one, down. Now, I have no clue how these are packed and organized. I do have our cut sheet here, very similar to what we walked through with the processor, but I have this out for reference. Wow! Bacon, bacon. Let's see how many bacons we got. So it looks like we got 14 packs of regular bacon, if I uh, counted correctly, and two packs of jowl bacon. Next up in here, we have the hams that we ordered. I believe we got those quartered. We did. So here are our four hams. And then I would imagine this is the ham hock. Yep. All right, that's exciting. Bacon! Mmm, these baby back ribs, awesome. All right, and then here's the pork chops. She put two of them together for us, because um, that works best for us with how we plan our meals. Moose. Spare one. Pork chop, let's count the pork chops. So one, two, three. I've counted 20 packs of pork chops, which is essentially 20 meals for us, which is awesome. Was not expecting that much. All right, next up here, um, we have our pork loin roast. Another roast. A third roast. A fourth roast. Here's our pork tenderloin. This will be delicious on the grill. We'll have to put a good marinade for that. Another pork roast. Wow, so we have 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pork roasts. That's awesome. And then sausage. We got our sausage um, just in bulk, plain, so we could use it for breakfast or for other meals. We have one. I will say whoever packed these boxes, so efficient. All right, so here is our half a hog. Um, the best part about this is the quality of this meat. We have we have just bought it by the cut in the past. Um, we. We love the flavor. We love knowing where it came from, that they're raised on pasture um, and with farming practices that we appreciate and value. So I already know the quality here is going to be great. I'm excited to have an abundance of it, to have uh, purchased it in bulk. That just what is what works best for our lifestyle. And I'm super excited. This is a new product for us to have all that fat to dig into and to be able to do some projects with. So thanks for being on this journey with us. I hope you start to make some relationships with your local farmers. Consider buying in bulk like this. It is definitely a win-win all around. We'll see you next time.